vicious cycle of tendering where or bidding on projects where you're constantly getting hammered down lower and lower and lower on your price. And so your margins are smaller and smaller and smaller, which means you can't get as good people, you can't get as good equipment and service actually comes down as well because you're not delivering well enough. But if you decommoditize the offer, that's how you can charge much higher prices because off the top of my head, if you're looking to do a retainer model for an oil and gas company for scaffolding, instead of you know just getting us from project to project, let's just have a, a framework agreement where you pay us X amount every single month. We're always there on call. We know all of your systems and your procedures. We're set up to run the business like this. You don't have to worry about procurement costs, contract costs. The cost is already locked in for you guys. Something like that is something that is more attractive to those companies. You need to have more than one one acquisition channel. So when I say acquisition channel, what I mean is how do you win work? How do you buy work? Like you tender, you go to the market, you spend money on bidding for work. Hey, construction legends. So today we're going to talk about the standard margins that contractors and subcontractors have and the strategies that empower them to skyrocket their profit margins. And at the end, we're going to talk about three specific tips that you can implement into your business to help increase your profit margin. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kian Brennan. I'm CEO of a company called Quantum Contract Solutions. And the reason we make these videos is we see so many construction companies losing money on their projects and we don't want you to be one of them. Getting started, I'm going to take you all the way back to the 50s, 60s and 70s in Western Ireland, where my grandfather owned a construction company. He was a contractor and actually when he died, the newspaper article said the man who built Galway. Construction has been in our family for a long period of time and he had a specific philosophy on which made him so successful during his career. So he was head of the Contractors Federation in Ireland as well at one stage, a very well regarded person. And so his philosophy was pretty simple from a business model. It was 33% profit, 33% people, 33% materials. If whatever project he was looking at didn't fit that criteria, he didn't do it. Pretty simple. Now, when we look at the margins that are there today, someone looking for a 33% margin as a minimum, you might raise a few eyebrows, but that's what they were looking for. That's what made them successful. It is entirely possible today, if not more, to do the same thing. And there's a few different things that we can do to move those levers. But the main thing is he ran that successful business for a long, long period of time. Now, what happened eventually was his eldest son took over, who had a different philosophy. And his different philosophy was to go after bigger projects with lower margins, take on a bit of leverage to kind of amplify their reach and what they can actually do and take on bigger projects on a larger scale. And ultimately, that was the start of the demise of the company. And the company went into administration more than a few years later. But when that strategy played out, that's what happened. And so what ends up happening is you get yourself into this vicious cycle of tendering where or bidding on projects where you're constantly getting hammered down lower and lower and lower on your price. And so your margins are smaller and smaller and smaller, which means you can't get as good people, you can't get as good equipment and service actually comes down as well because you're not delivering well enough. And ultimately your reputation goes down and that's kind of where you end up at the end of the day. Not making very much money with, with a bad reputation. And so your typical GC will make anywhere between 10 and 20% profit margin. That's what they're looking to do. Okay, GC main contractor. Subcontractors are 10 to 30% depending on the industry. So from having advised so many construction companies over the last four years, we see all sorts and window companies seem to do very well. Roofing companies seem to do very well. And anything that is like that external envelope material supply and install tend to do very well as organizations. And so what was the learning from what happened with our family business is really that the original strategy was a great strategy. There was nothing wrong with it. They didn't need to change. The problem that they were solving was it needs to do more of that, potentially. More of that exact same strategy, not change strategy to grow. And so when you're looking and analyzing a business from a point of view as how can we grow as a company? How can we expand? Oftentimes it's doing a lot more of the exact same thing that you're doing rather than trying to do a completely different strategy. If you do more of what's working, that tends to 
work very well. But specifically, there are three things that you need to do to increase your margins. The first is you need to decommoditize your offer. If you're a scaffolding company or a civil company or a steel fabrication company and they're putting you up against other scaffolders, other steel fabrications. And with the only difference between the companies being the price, this is where you get yourself into a losing scenario. So it's just whoever has the cheapest price wins. And so typically it's probably the biggest company who has the ability to maybe buy the job, but also maybe the ability to have larger economies of scales. And so there's benefit in being the cheapest and the most expensive. In between, it's no good. So if you can't be the absolute the cheapest is better to be the most expensive. So if you decommoditize your offer in that we are not just a steel fabrication company, we provide so much more than that, that all of these other companies don't, then that's what's going to give you a unique value proposition. So not only do we do the scaffolding, but we also train up your supervisors, or we also do this additional thing that all these other companies don't do, which is a value add to us, which makes us different to the other companies that you would just go to. So you can't tot us up side by side. We are our own thing and our offer to the market, whatever it is that you offer. And you obviously in your own industry, you need to come up with something that makes sense specifically to your business and what value you can provide them. But if you decommoditize the offer, that's how you can charge much higher prices because off the top of my head, if you're looking to do a retainer model for an oil and gas company for scaffolding, instead of you know just getting us from project to project, let's just have a, a framework agreement where you pay us X amount every single month. We're always there on call. We know all of your systems and your procedures. We're set up to run the business like like this. You don't have to worry about procurement costs, contract costs. The cost is already locked in for you guys. Something like that is something that is more attractive to those companies than just every time just bidding for work and just going to the lowest guy. And that's not what you want either because you won't get as much profit margin on those type of deals. The second thing is you need to have more than one acquisition channel. So when I say acquisition channel, what I mean is how do you win work? How do you buy work? Like you tender, you go to the market, you spend money on bidding for work. That's a whole process that you you, you know, have to spend you. You've got to go to these websites and you've got to find them or whatever it is, you've got to get invited. That's one type of acquisition channel only. Do you have other acquisition channels that you could use? Are you using traditional digital marketing? Are you using paper? Are you using outbound? Are you using inbound? Social media? Do you have any organic stuff? Do you have a training course that you could give out? Do you produce a documentation that shows that you're the best in your industry and then people come in via that? If you have a different way to win business other than just bidding for work, then that, that's going to allow you to have higher margins. So other acquisition channels do also include referrals and repeated work. So if you're getting a lot of work from referrals and repeated work, that's great. But those guys, as you know, are better clients, they pay better, and you can have a better margin with those guys. That's very important. And the last tip is from having worked with over 150 construction companies and advised them specifically, and we also have all of the data, we can see that the best construction companies are the companies that do one single thing very, very well. Whatever it is, they do one thing really, really well. They don't have a lot of bolt-on services and catch-all, generalistic, we can do absolutely everything. It's we do this one thing better than anybody else. And that can also be you decommoditizing your offer where you're like, yeah, we only do this one thing, but we do it so well and everybody knows that we do it so well, then that's how you're decommoditized from price. The one service I'm into, to quote Stephen Covey, it's the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. If you can do that to your business and just stay on focus and just get better at your current core offering, it'll make a massive difference to the success of your business. I hope these are useful. Drop us a subscribe and I'll catch you next video. Hey, construction legends. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want more of the same, please click here to have another cool video. And we've also got a full contract negotiation training course. It's six weeks, everything you need to do to negotiate your own contract. It's a playlist. Click on it, go through all the training and it'll make you way, way better and, and allow you to sign way less riskier contracts and set yourselves up for success. Okay. So choose one of them and go for, go for it and conquer.